Hello friends. As much as we'd like for it not to be true, there are girls that dream of marrying rich men who'd be able to buy their wives anything they want. These girls often ignore regular guys and even call them losers. What would you choose? Would you rather live a rich and lonely life or would you rather be poor but happy, living with someone you love? As they often say, if you marry a poor man, you will have nothing but your husband. But if you marry a rich man, you will have everything except your husband. Today I'm going to tell you a story of an ordinary girl who decided to change her life for the better. Keep watching to see what came out of it. Natasha was born and raised in a regular family in the city of Minsk, and though they didn't live in poverty, they only had enough money to fulfill their most basic needs. It's understandable that Natasha wasn't happy about her situation. So, back in her childhood, she firmly decided that her husband has to be well off. She dreamt of living a rich life without having to worry where to get money for a vacation or a new dress. The girl was so serious about it that she didn't let herself fall in love with cute and funny but poor guys. Or maybe it was just a coincidence. Whatever it was, money remained her main goal. And again, she shouldn't be blamed for it as each of us dreams of a well-off life. When Natasha was 19 years old and a university student, she got a part-time job as a waitress at a local hotel in order to earn some money. The job paid well, and the people staying at the hotel were wealthy and cultured. Work was hard, and Natasha was often so tired that she had no strength or desire to make new acquaintances. But one day, Natasha delivered room service to a client, and it was that meeting that became a turning point in her life. It was the day she met him. But who was that client? Saeed bin Maktoum bin Rashid al Maktoum wasn't an ordinary man, but a nephew of the Emir of Dubai. The man was a real sports enthusiast, and he came to Minsk to participate in a competition. But the most interesting part was that Saeed hardly ever left his room during his stay. He traveled with his own kitchen staff, who prepared all his food, and he barely even left his room. But you can't escape fate. When Saeed ordered an orange juice, Natasha happened to be the one to bring it to his room. Despite her self-consciousness and poor command of the English language, she managed to charm the sheikh in just a few minutes. He invited her to have dinner with him, and then she accompanied him to a shooting club. Their chemistry was undeniable, but she couldn't have even imagined that this accidental meeting would soon change her whole life, and very fast. In literally just a matter of days, the modest waitress would find herself living in the palace. Instead of catching a tram, she would move around in a premium class car with the personal driver, but first things first, Saeed invited Natasha on a date the same day. At first, the girl turned him down because the man was Muslim. However, after talking to him for a while, she realized that it didn't really matter. The man gave Natasha all of his attention, and as unbelievable as it may sound, just five days after they met, Saeed was already standing at the entrance to Natasha's parents' apartment, ready to ask them for her hand. Prior to it, he asked the girl if she'd be willing to convert to Islam, of course. I remember the shock when my husband and I saw who our daughter chose to marry. But of course, we wanted her to be happy. Saeed came with the translator. He talked a lot and tried to make us like him. When they came into our home, the prince took off his shoes. Yes, it did impress us. The father, of course, made a mistake of putting alcohol on the table. But the sheikh's assistant immediately asked us to remove it. Saeed doesn't drink or smoke. At the end of dinner, he announced that he wanted to marry our daughter. And to be honest, we didn't even know how to react, Natasha's mother said. Like any other parents, Natasha's father and mother were wary of Saeed. They were extremely worried because the man was already officially married and had five children. In addition, the parents weren't thrilled that Natasha would need to convert to Islam. When Saeed left, we decided to have a serious talk with our daughter. We asked if she realized what a major decision she was making. After all, if she married this man, her life would change forever, the girl's father said. As for Natasha, she was eager to marry the sheikh, and so her parents decided not to stand in her way. The wedding took place in Minsk. Then, the couple went to Cyprus for their honeymoon, and after that, to Dubai. Sometime later, the girl converted to Islam and changed her name to Aisha. Several months passed since the wedding. Although Natasha always called her parents and assured them that everything was fine, her father wanted to make sure of this personally, so he went to visit his daughter in her new home. My daughter met me at the airport in a big white infinity with a personal driver. She said it was a gift from her husband. She also said that she wanted a black car, 
But Saeed insisted on a white one because it is very hot inside of a black car and he wanted his wife to move around comfortably. After that, we headed to their mansion, Natasha's father said. It's hard to find the words to describe how stunned the girl's father was when he saw the three-story palace his daughter was living in. There was a lot of staff working in the house. Gardeners, cooks, maids. Guess who they had for a pet? It wasn't a cat or a dog, but a real jaguar who was roaming freely around the estate. The whole situation impressed Natasha's father, but what he liked most was how Natasha had changed. She used to be young and sassy. She loved going out dancing, but now she turned into a socialite, a lady with good manners and excellent taste. Of course, the girl's father was happy for her. He was very impressed by her new life, the wealth, and how Natasha had changed. However, there was one thing that did upset him. In a week the man spent with his daughter, Saeed never once showed up. The girl explained that it was nothing to worry about because her husband was very busy. This made the father wonder if things were really good in their family, but he kept those thoughts to himself. After all, Natasha chose this kind of life for herself. Perhaps it was the difference in culture that made it difficult for her father to accept things that were considered fine in the foreign culture. As for the girl herself, at first it was hard to accept the fact that her husband had another woman, but over time, the wives managed to get along and even made friends. The couple soon had a daughter, Alia, who was named after Saeed's mother. Aisha is raising the child herself, not entrusting her to the nannies. The honored spouse doesn't demand his wife to cover her face, nor does he restrict her movement. She has several private cars and drivers. All in all, Aisha seems to be happy with her position. The woman is 32 years old already. Her parents visit her several times a year. She continues to live in her palace and has a lovely daughter. Saeed married for the third time five years ago. His third wife is a gymnast from Azerbaijan, Zeynep Javedli, and the couple also had children. Natasha says that she's very happy and doesn't regret her decision. However, they say that Natasha spends even more time alone now that Saeed married again, as he no longer comes to visit her, but only their daughter. But despite living a life of luxury that lacks nothing, she still doesn't feel happy as a woman. What's more, Natasha, aka Aisha, never gets to accompany her father at official events, as it's always the first wife who gets to go with him. Many say that Natasha lives in a false paradise, where she could have everything that she wants. Many women would do anything to switch places with Natasha. Saeed bin Maktoum bin Rashid al Maktoum's fortune is estimated at $16 billion. After his father's death, he was supposed to become the Emir of Dubai, but he turned down the position in favor of his uncle, preferring to focus on shooting sports instead. Well, that's the story of an ordinary waitress from Minsk and a Sheikh of Dubai, whose accidental meeting has changed both of their lives forever. So friends, what do you think? Is it better to live this way or to have a loving but poor husband? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments. And that's it for today. Rate our video if you liked it, and see you soon. Bye, soon.